Okay, since last time, I have, well, actually done a little bit of grinding. I did a little bit in the swamp, if we actually look up here. It's not going to be revealed on this one because I just restarted the game. But I did a little bit of wandering around the swamp. I know that there's a devotion shrine up here as well, and we're going to clear that today, hopefully. I know the stuff up there is a bit high level for me still. It's not going to drop down low enough to get to my level because it's, well, dangerous domain. So we're going to go there. We are going to go clear out the Devotion Shrine there, maybe clear out some... I think there's another one of those little, like, challenge things up here as well, where you actually have to spawn in a bunch of guys and fight them. I don't have access to any kind of things that give me, you know, basically the bounties and stuff like that. Otherwise, I'd be able to do more up there, I think. But we're going to do that. And then we're going to be moving on into the northwest of here. I'm going to go through probably actually all of the Malmoth content and stuff like that before doing Forgotten Gods. But we could do it the other way around. Uh, if you drop your thoughts in the comments down below, I may switch it up with the next playthrough. Or I may even just skip over to it on this one at some point along the story. So let's go ahead, close that. Enough explanations on, and we are going to go up here as close to, because we have to clear that ruined shrine. I think we go to Burwich Village first? Yeah. And then we go across, because it's across that bridge just down the road from here, so. Hi, big guy. And we do decent damage. With the level up, I did get, ugh, I hate how it tells me I need a second class, but we did get some more levels into our core stuff. I'm going to be focusing on the skills that we have already before adding new ones. I may still get myself up to getting the, like, the elite skills or whatever you want to call these, the exclusives. I may get up to getting one of those as well in the near future. But, yeah, we, we are just going to boost these skills first, and then we will look into possibly maybe getting some additional skills on top of those. Because generally, I find in a lot of action RPGs, it's a good idea to stay fairly focused. Now, there are some exceptions, but for the most part, I'm not going to assume this one is one of those. Is, oh, I thought I saw some glowing over there. But we have not adjusted our... Ah, die, you fools. But we have not adjusted our difficulty or anything like that or reset any skills or anything so we are going to just keep going with this and we're going to go through the entire game with just soldier and then we're going to move down the list because i think the next one that we do is probably just going to be demolitionist we're just going to move down the list that way it's easier to keep track of i might change that up at some point if i feel like playing a caster or a summoner but we want to go pure with each of them Ooh, and it seems like it changed the thing aether marked uh reduce attack speed boosted aether resistance Okay. Players experience slowed attacks but are more resistant to the Aether. Oh, this is a thing effect on me. Oh my. So the direction we want to go, because we already cleared up here. We want to go down and around. And I'll just follow this northern shoreline because I know what's up here. <laughs> I, I've walked this way before. So it kind of makes sense for me to do that. And is that is that a cave down there? Or is that just a... We'll walk around this wharf here. And you can see things things do still take a couple hits to kill here because, well, we are not high enough level for it. And I do think, if I remember correctly, isn't there also a, oh, whatchamacallit, a cave here somewhere? I seem to remember there being a cave somewhere, somewhere along this, hey, you die, and you die, but somewhere along this area that we were able to get access to basically more items and I think there might have been something underground but I could be remembering wrong I could be thinking of somewhere else in the game because it admittedly has been quite a while since we did that first playthrough that's one reason why I am very mediocre at the game currently and is that a better warhammer it is not now we could start looking forward to making better gear as well and we are going to be using crafting in these I've kind of decided while I'm not going to transfer items I will use any kind of crafting options that we have because uh, we'll be playing through a few times. It seems kind of redundant to not use some of the advantages that come with it. And we are going to be using the few items that we got before. I have noticed that the recipes are a lot more frequent now than they were before. So that's that's a good thing. I, I wholeheartedly appreciate it. Yeah, we do have a challenge thing up here. Sweet. So I'm going to just go straight for it. We'll clear out around it first, of course. Because there's no sense in making it harder than it has to be. We're in here for just a chill playthrough. And there was nothing around it. Oh, God. We're stuck in here. No, let me out. 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 Thank you. I don't want to be trapped in there whenever. Yeah. 
the big stars decide to uh, spawn. And we have... Ooh, we have more enemies coming from above as well. And we are not doing well health-wise. But I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we'll be fine. So, we got a few items here. We've got a uh, Vital Essence there, which will restore our Constitution stuff. We've got a bunch of items. We also got a recipe for Lifestealer oil, oil, which is not something I'm probably going to actually use. So, we have a bunch of items that we can't actually equip yet, as well. We'll pick up the greens for a little bit longer. I did get some money by doing the other things as well. Oh, and we did get these. And I already know that one, so I can't read it. And we also got a journal as well. I'll let you guys read that. And we found this, the Urubrooks journal, here in the swamp area. I accidentally picked it up, so we'll go ahead and... Yay, we leveled up. Sweet! And as far as the recipe, it's just lifesteal oil. We don't have access to that yet. I thought we did. I could have sworn I had that one. Anyway, still with leg wraps are not really going to be good for us. I think I prefer our explorer's trousers. And we're not going to be using shields for anything. And as far as the amulet, I think I prefer... Oh, this is a metal. What amulet are we using? Yeah, we're using one that boosts our physical and offensive abilities. So I think I'm going to stick on those. And it actually boosts our force wave as well. So we'll swap this out for our current metal. Our current metal is not bad. I might actually keep it kind of ticking around just because. But it has like deadly momentum and stuff like that, which are skills for us. So let's go ahead and yeah, auto sort those items. We'll worry about those in a little bit. And we are going to go ahead and take our skill points. So as far as what we want points in, I could increase my defensive abilities, which would not be a bad idea. Could also get Rending Force back like up to maximum, which I think is probably our best bet because that would give us two max kind of modifiers on this. And then we can just keep going up into Force Wave. Or we can make Force Wave be a few more levels, but that does increase the energy cost, whereas this does not. So we've got that maxed out. We'll look at like maybe getting... We're probably not going to max Men Here's Will out possible but I don't think we're going to um, we're going to be focusing more on our damage output which is going to be like decorated soldier we're going to get a little bit of veterancy as well for like health regen and constitution just to make us a little bit tankier so that's what we're kind of looking at there uh, heavy axe no raw revolver and badge of mending not really and I forgot to do one thing which is let's see what our chance of actually being crit is pretty bad but I am going to go... I'm going to go with Cunning. I'm actually going to stick with it. I'm going to get a little bit more offensive. And just kind of go with that. Can you not? We are one-shotting some things. As long as we're one-shotting things, I'm really happy. But I'm really surprised we're one-shotting things here. Because frankly, a lot of these things could be a little bit scary. And I think I will go ahead and pick up the gold bands and that amulet over here. Just because they only take one slot. The badge, sorry, not amulet. Just because this, these things over here do actually sell for an okay amount of money. So, do we have another challenge thing? It doesn't look like it yet. I think those came with one of the expansions. The little... Because I don't think they were originally in the game whenever I first played through it. The little challenge things where it spawns a bunch of enemies like we just fought. Yeah, you'd get them with the devotion shrines, but... Yeah, that was something else entirely. So we want to just keep going up here. Oh, what are you? I don't recognize these guys. And that guy is not going down very quickly. There you go. Good job. It takes rated spikes, of course. I do like that it does automatically pick up the bits. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to think about it. It just does it. I kind of wish it would do it with the various bits and bobs that we can put onto our gear. The components, I believe is what they're called. Yeah, components. I wish that was a default thing. I think there's a mod that does it, but yeah. And we will spawn everything here. Hi guys, how you guys doing? There's just so many of you. You're so scary. They're just a bunch of undead dudes that take internal trauma. Weirdly enough, which is really strange. They're undead and they take internal trauma. And he can supposedly hit me through a wall that I can't hit him through. And this is where we found that little bit of lore that we looked at that I said we found here in the swamp. So that, that's where I found it, in case you're curious. Map-wise, I think we want to go down this way and over to the right so we can clear out that devotion shrine. I think it's one that we fight for, but I could be wrong. I mean, I have plenty of things to cleanse 
various things, so I'm fine with this. I don't know what faction we get alignment with with killing the undead, but it's whatever. Hey, yeah, I knew there were more back here. Because I've been here before, and that's where they spawn. Uh, none of those are small. So, just traveling on through. This place is not too terribly difficult. We're going to take damage here, of course, because we're underleveled. But beyond that, I don't think there's too much for us to fear. Yeah, here... Oh, it's a boss in here. Hi, guy. How you doing? Uh, I did not realize you were in there, but we will kill you nonetheless. Ow. Oh, God, that hurts. Hi. Go ahead and just get him with the... Ow. That skill's not ready. My healing is not ready. Oh, no, no. I might die here. Give me the healing potion, please. Thank you. Okay, so he's got bullet hell going on there. Oh, he does not want to run away from his home. Did you come back and heal? You better not have healed, you little bastard. No, you don't get to heal. Yeah, that hurts like a truck. I think we can still kill him, but that's going to be something I need to be a little bit aware of. Just don't get hit by his vomit, I think, is probably going to be my main thing. Okay, get thousand-something damage in there. And we're just going to run around him kiting him. Being the range boy that we are. And I could probably heal through that as well with the potion, but at the same time, I'm needing to be a little bit on the cautious side. Nope, my healing is not ready, so I need to back off and not get killed by everything. Oh, we got him. Yay. So we got something Harvest of the Ruin, which is a shield, which does nothing for us. We got his item, which is... I have no idea what that one's about. Frontier Pants. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apparently Frontier Pants are a thing. Got some iron bit bits and some shield steel. I could probably look at that belt for an upgrade. Because currently, if I remember correctly, our belt is kind of ass. Yeah, our belt is just kind of there. It's just, it's got resists on it. That is even worse. <laughs> so, yeah, no. Let's smash that and see if we get anything good from it. Uh, Raider Howda. What is a Howda? It's a one-handed range. Okay. It's the Jowda. Okay, 10% to all damage. And skill disruption protection. That might actually be better than what we've got. That's a ring. Of course, we're going to take that. Neither of those are good. So, Ruined Shrine. It requires a chipped claw. Sure. That was easy enough. Cracked lodestone. Sure. Embroidered raiment, which is chest armor. We'll go ahead and pick up this stuff to sell it. But I think that's most of what we wanted to do here. We're getting a little bit on the full side. I'm going to go check where I think there might be that little temple thingy. Which, not temple, the uh, dungeon thingy. I think it's down here in these. So what I want to do is I want to go up around and then look in these two little spots. See if there's something underneath there. Because that's what's coming to mind at least for where it might be. Because I remember there being like a bridge over it. And those areas do have bridges underneath them. Oh, we've got corpse dust. Yes, I will take corpse dust. I will always take components. Until it shows me that there is a limit to the stack size, I will always take components. So let's see. Map-wise, we need to go one more over. Which is going to be through here. We're just going through the cleared area because, frankly, I don't want to over-level here. <laughs> it is possible to over-level because there is a cap on the enemy levels as well in various areas. So this... Yeah, this is where we want to go. We want to follow down this side. And look underneath any kind of bridge-looking things that we run across. And I will gladly take Tonics of Mending to make up for the Tonics that I used. And yes, I did actually sell a bunch of them just to get them down into a reasonable level. We end up getting far too many Tonics compared to how many we use. So that is something that is a concern that I maybe maybe that means I'm doing good but no we're actually playing on normal difficulty so it just means that we're on an easy difficulty so there's that we're actually currently a little bit plague barren not barren we're currently covered in a bit of plague that armor is not better these might sell for a decent amount of money I'll pick up a little bit of it we're almost full anyway though so I'm not gonna worry too much about picking stuff up to sell. We're going to be dumping a ton of it as soon as we get down there anyway. But for some reason, I think... Was there not a, like, room down here or something? Like, behind a waterfall? 
Uh, doesn't look like there's anything there. Got one more down this way. Just double checking on it. Highly doubt there's anything, but it's always worth checking. Especially if there could be like a really good item there or something. Hi. I see you there. I'm gonna kill you. you guys are good XP. Especially for how easy you are to kill, because those guys are squishy. So let's see. Is there... Maybe it's something we encounter later. But I don't see anything in those spots. Those are the only spots I can think of. We'll check the middle for a cave, and then we'll head back. And just because that makes a little bit of sense to me. Hi, big dungeon guy. Oh, hi. Yeah, you guys are uh, taking a couple hits. There's one down. There's another one down. Plate harness, not really interested. Anything in here? Eh, a little bit of treasure. Hey, a food ration. That's actually semi-useful because we were down a little bit of our constitution. So map-wise, it doesn't look like there's a spot for... Oh, hi. It's a boss! And he actually didn't do much damage to us. We are poison. Oh, that's damage. You can stop with that. Oh, stop with the net, my dude. Stop with the net. There you go. That net was a pain in the ass. So let's go ahead and pick up all this stuff. Hi, big guy. How you doing? And what does it give us? Ooh, devil-touched ammo. That's a crafting item. And we'll pick up a couple belts. How are we looking on space? We're actually looking okay on space. I'll grab the rest of these. Boop. Van braces. Trench coat. And are we full? Almost. Almost full. Yeah, that's full enough. So, it doesn't look like there's a cave here. I do hear more enemies nearby. I'm not going to really bother with it. It's just... It is what it is. And supposedly we can go to Forgotten... This one... Whenever we want, since we've gotten that thing, and it just adjusts to our current level. But I don't want to get over-leveled for these parts. Unless we're going into the higher difficulties with this character. So I'm, of course, taking a drink now. So let's see. First, we need to dump off, dump off our components into our shared stash. I'm really glad they include that one quality of life. Where I can swap over to this. And I'll dump all these in there. And what it does is it'll pull from these if I'm trying to craft something. So that makes life about a million times easier. So royal jelly can go in there as well. We've got these, which are elemental damage. Not really going to help us out very much, but I'll keep them nonetheless. This, I don't think, can go into the shared stash, can it? No. But it can go into our personal stash. So I'll go ahead and keep that. I'll keep this that metal there. I'll probably end up getting rid of it, but we're just keeping our blues and above for sure. And we need our scrap so we can go to the side there. So I need, I think it was six or seven scrap. So we'll go ahead and take about, let's say six. Because if it's seven, I'll have one extra. If not, it's fine. And I think for our single one, this costs 50. Yeah, we have plenty of money for that. Let's go ahead and get our expansion on there. Reason I'm getting the expansion is because we're going to also use this character as a bit of a mule, so spending that money on that is a good thing for now, and we'll also be getting other stuff with our money in the near future. So, as far as most of the rest of the stuff, that is a rare two-handed axe that does more damage. But it doesn't have bloodbath. It does so much more damage, though. Uh, physical damage converted. It converts it to chaos damage. That is gross. This one is a little bit better. Okay, so this one does physical damage, like massive boost to it. Increases armor piercing by a huge chunk. and in Increases internal trauma. Yeah, this one is better than our other one. Even though, yeah, it's just a ton more damage. So that works for me. I kind of wish I could have bloodbath still. Because that little AoE is kind of handy. Here, we'll keep that on swap just in case we decide we want it. But this amount of damage boost is just too nice not to use. And as far as the rest of the gear, um, some of this does look kind of promising. I mean, it's better than the Slith one, although resists are going to be an important thing for us. We're slowly getting them up, but not quite yet. And where's that? I think that might have been the shoulders we actually wanted to keep, wasn't it? Uh, plus 10% all damage. Mm, I think we're going to keep up the resistances, just because that's going to make life a little bit easier. 
So let's see. You are just garbage. All the yellows are just going to get like sold straight away, probably. Someone's going to be like, that yellow was amazing and you shouldn't have sold it. I'm sorry. But this... I, we don't need the elemental resist, but the extra damage would definitely be good. We lose some poison acid and vitality, which we actually do need to keep up if we get rid of that. So we'll keep this on the sidelines in case we end up using it. It'll probably end up getting sold. But that got us some money. Which will get us a bridge, which will get us into the west, I believe. Actually, I know it's going to get us into the west. It's not just an I believe. That's literally where it physically goes. So down we go, and off we go to do that lovely little bit. We've got a giant freaking axe, which is always a good thing. And is there a... Can we actually go this way? Oh, we can. You know what? We're going to rebuild both of them. That one is how much? Uh, 20,025. And this one should be 10,006 or 7. So 25... 25, 20, and 6, 3,000. So, yeah, we can afford both of them. So, we need 31 total scrap, which is fine. That's nothing. That's 24 more, because I think we have 7 on us. And we have over 100 and something scrap. That is something we build up quite a bit of. Yeah, 342. So, we need, I've already forgotten, 31, so 28. No, not 28, 24. 24. So we're going to do two, four. Oh, that zooms us in. Great. Um, let's go ahead and there. I think, I think that got us back to where we were. No, that's not quite it. There we go. I don't know what's to the southwest. We'll go that way as well. Prepare the bridge to Old Grove. Old Grove sounds familiar. Then we have Northwest out of Devil's Crossing. So yeah, repairing them both. I don't know what's down there. Let's check out Old Grove real quick, because I don't remember what's down there. That sounds very familiar, though. You have restored this bridge. Groovy. Groovy, Slick. Groovy. What's out here? Totally normal Arbiter. What? You're less damage. Do we just do you just get a free item each time you come down here? Out of order. So we could just reload in here and smash that each time. Is it gonna always be the same thing? It's a legendary one-handed mace. What it looks like a shield. What the quarter of what the hell are you? <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I guess that's a thing. I, I, that for some reason, Old Grove sounded familiar. That's not what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be an area, but okay, that's fine. So we'll chunk that in there. Yay. And oh, the bone chart lacerator is lower damage than this. That's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep this. He's a giant freaking ax. How much, how much damage do we do now? I think we can actually look in our stats and stuff like that and see, but we'll see by hitting things in the face. Yeah, we do more damage. You can see the damage per second taken on those guys as well. Yeah, we're doing fine. We're, we are fine. That was kind of expensive for what we got, but I'm okay with this. <laughs> Eviscerated. Oh, yeah, they are actually a little bit under our level, but they are... They're going to generally be around our same level, which is going to be plus or minus a little bit. So we need to kill Edmund Shanks Doyle, which should be in here if I had to guess. He's going to probably be a pushover. Or not. No, he's not. He's just a dick. That's fine. How you doing there, buddy? There you go. Report back to Devil's Crossing. That was relatively easy. So we just stepped out here and murdered his face. Okay. And he didn't drop anything. What? What a worthless... You'll pay for this. Oh, hi. What are you saying? You'll pay for this. Darius wants his, this prison when, when he finds out what you've done. Oh, you'll wish I shanked you dead. Okay, groovy. I guess we'll run back and report this real quick. Hey, he wants to shank us. He wants to shank us very much. 
and you'll see stuttering every now and then but it's a lot better than it was the way i fixed it for those of you that are wondering about it is i ended up oh yeah we've got what's with the skull oh the skull is our shape change thing so we can change how we look i'm sticking with the mad max look for now because i'm not wasting money on that but the oh what was i gonna say well yeah, we'll take that. I just completely brain farted. Okay, so I will get on it. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and kill Darius Cronley. Can we actually still do anything with that? Nothing yet. What is our faction with them? We are currently friendly. Sweet. So Cronley's gang boosts that. But I was going to tell you something that I did, but I completely have flaked out on it. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's just what it is. But I'll remember it about halfway through the episode and be like, oh, well, yes, I meant to talk about this. That or I'll cover it in a bit. But we need to go kill Cronley, speak to Quaid at the river camp in Old Arcovia, which is probably all, like, way northwest of us because we are in Arcovia and Foothills. Old Arcovia is probably either north or west of us. And killing all of them is going to get us a little bit of reputation, probably. Hi, guys. How you doing? I so want more things to put on armor and stuff like that. Yeah, I know I haven't used them yet, but it'll be handy. Speaking of which, we probably should do that one of these times. But I think... You know what? Let's, let, let's go do that real quick. We are literally right here by the va village using a town portal. There is a portal here as well. And yes, I'm going to call them town portals, not rifts. It's the same thing. They're just different colors. So the way we add things into stuff, I do remember this. We can come in here, we can go to this, and we can see it'll highlight what we can actually put in that. Which is, I think we might want just the claw. Oh, that slam is an ability. And let's see, I think I want to have something that triggers something. Brutal slam, no, I want a percent chance thing. Are there any good percent chance weapon things? Granted by item. Empower your attacks to pierce through armor. Uh, what are, oh, that one's too high level. Blessed Steel. Sacred Strike. Yeah, it just seems to be like abilities added by them. As opposed to chance to use it. Shield yourself from the chaotic void. Ooh, chaos resistance would be actually kind of nice. Why does that actually work on... It, uses, it works on all weapons. We also have a few down here that we can use. Vicious Spikes. Empowered Impaling Weapons. Empowers your attacks to pierce through armor. This ability must... Okay, so we could actually get piercing damage with that. We have Empowered Envenomed Weapons. We have Noxious Poison Bomb, which I think is, yeah, guns and stuff. So we we could do a few things in here. We, we need to get more Spine Carapaces as well. I don't want to use up the ones that I don't have a ton of. Because that would be kind of crappy. So, like, using the ballistic plating and stuff would be a bad idea for me. And yes, we are going to sort those. And then we are going to sort them again, because I want them horizontal. There you go. But we have, like, 126 of these. Which launches a fireball. We have scavenge plating, which boosts our armor. Which we could actually just use in all armor if we wanted to. And we have a ton of those. We don't have a ton of, like, some of these other ones, though, which is kind of sad. We could just boost our stats as well. I'll decide what I'm going to do with these probably in a bit. I just wanted to see what kind of stuff we had. I did want to actually use one, but none of these are really things that I want right now. So maybe later. That was a bit of a waste of time, but yeah, you just right click them and then you put them in your gear. You can choose to either keep them in the gear or you can use them up like that. And we have plenty of them to be using. It's just the ones that I want to use, I can't use because I only have a few of them. And I'd have to destroy the base item to get them back out if I wanted to swap them to a different piece of equipment. Which would suck. It would suck good, sir. 